everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann, and I want to talk to you about psych evaluations. Ugh. So I went and did my psych evaluation for bariatric surgery for the program that I'm in. And I don't know if you've seen the other video that I did, but in the other video I explained this program and it's pretty stringent. Um, I'm having my surgery done in Maine um, at one of the teaching centers for robotic laparoscopic surgery. So that's kind of exciting because the surgeon that I am going to be getting my surgery done by is top notch in the, nat in the nation. So that's pretty cool. Um, but part of the program is not only visiting with a dietitian, but you also need to visit with a psychologist. And you need to make sure that you're in the right headspace, that you're going to be successful at this program after the surgery, because there's a lot of work that needs to be done after the surgery. Um, you know, and a lot of people, I, I've heard mentioned that it's the easy way out. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not. And I'm also here to tell you that when you're going through psych evaluations, you know that they have their sh together and they want to make sure that you succeed at this. So, um, regardless that you're having your anatomy changed, there's still a lot of head mind work that needs to be done. So I went and had my psych evaluation a couple weeks ago and it's a very, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like, um, those quizzes that you do online to see what kind of personality you have, or um, also um, the ones that I forget what they're called. I don't know, somebody's gonna remember and they're gonna put it in the comments. Uh, bar, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, if I remember, I'll put it right here. If not, then it's gonna be blank. And so the way that mine was set up is I had 384 questions that I needed to answer on the computer. So I went through this computer quiz and it was multiple choice and there was 384 questions. Then I did, I think it was a hundred, no, it was 60, 60 something written. So I did the computer for 384 questions and then 62, I think, questions were done on paper. And that too was, um, primarily multiple choice. And so basically what happens is they take these, the results of these quizzes that you're doing, um, and they evaluate it based on your answers and they determine certain things like whether or not you're telling the truth, whether or not you are an optimistic type person or a pessimistic person or somebody that, um, you know, deals with boredom eating. Maybe you have some um, anger issues or um, all kinds of characteristics that they are looking for and that they can determine through these quizzes. So I did my quiz. I did it pretty quickly. Um, I One of my problems is that I do things very quickly and that includes eating. So I'm constantly go, 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 go. And granted, I, I sit here at my desk a lot but I'm constantly doing a bunch of things. And it's, it's, sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not, because I become overwhelmed pretty quickly because I've got so much going on. Um, so I went through the tests fairly quickly, um, and then after the quizzes were over, then I sat down with a psychologist and we went over the results and we had a conversation um, about the results and about some of the things that I might be concerned with, with the surgery and how I can overcome those things. Um, and one of the biggest things that they are a component, they, they, they have as a component of their program is mindful eating and mindful eating means that you are mindful of every bite you take, what the consistency of the food is before you swallow it, how long you're eating, um, putting your fork down in between, making sure that you're not eating in front of a computer or uh, a TV, making sure that you're in an environment that is conducive for um, eating, and that's at the kitchen table where you belong, right? Um, and taking 30 minutes to eat your meals. And, you know, those types of things are all part of mindful eating. So I, I thought it was kind of um, funny 
because we did talk a little bit about my past and I had to write um, a paragraph or two, actually it was two paragraphs long of what my history from the very beginning when I was a child to current day eating. How I used to eat when I was a kid, was I a large child, um, you know, how did we eat at home, how did I gain, did I gain or not gain when I was pregnant, um, you know, so those types of things. So I had to really kind of dig back and, and look. And so we talked a little bit about that. And one of the, um, the results, it was actually kind of funny, I didn't, I mean, I think it's funny, it's kind of a curse and a blessing at the same time. Um, she did determine that I was being truthful in all of the questions and that I am a great candidate for right mindset, which all that training has helped. I am very excited about that. Um, however, <laughs> off the chart, every, everything that I had was like right in the median of like the normal, like they had this big block of, t of space and mine was kind of like all inside of that block of space, which was the norm, except for one, which was way up <laughs> Here. And I looked at her, I said, what is that? And she's like, well, she goes, that means you're a perfectionist. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said, is that going to be a problem? And she's like, well, we'll work on it. And I told her, I said, you know, I, I have a feeling that it's just, I was raised with, my mother was a school teacher, you know, so we had to meet expectations. We, we were always encouraged to do better than we were and so that I think and I could be wrong but I think that um, cultivates perfectionism and my dad was somewhat of a perfectionist he was a carpenter and he was meticulous and so I think some of that comes from there and you know just over the years I've always wanted to be the best version of me that I could be and if that looks like perfectionism, so be it. So that's why I say it's a blessing and a curse. I mean, I think it could hinder me if to move forward at times, but it also could excel me um, as I'm moving forward. You know what I mean? So what to expect during a psyche evaluation? I think it's, it's primarily um, questions about your character, questions about how you would deal with a situation, questions about... Um, you know, what you would think about at certain times. Um, you know, have you ever thought about killing yourself? I mean, those questions were in there. Um, and, you know, it, it, it really helps them hone down on what types of things that you need to work on during the program. So I'm going back to see her um, for a 30-minute appointment, which this last one was three hours. Um, for on um, next Tuesday. So I get to see her again next Tuesday. I've actually asked, I, I, I like having that, uh, that option in this program. Um, not often do we have a, hopefully we don't have a reason to have counseling. Um, and in this situation, it's being offered as part of the program. And so I'm really gonna take advantage of it because I think it's really important to have that outside um, view. You know, so I am excited to continue this journey, but I thought I would come and tell you what it was like to have the psych evaluation and what my results came out to be. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help answer them. Um, I've been studying the program quite heavily. We've got this nice big binder that we um, have with information. I have been journaling in not one, but two notebooks. I've been doing a lot of journaling. Um, because I really want this process to be for the right reasons. And, and in order for me to do that, I need to make sure that my mind is in the right headspace. Um, and I am ready. I'm, I'm definitely ready. And I'm, I'm seeing benefits of the changes that I've been making. Um, they asked me to lose 10 pounds before my next dietitian appointment, which is Tuesday. And I'm down seven. Um, I may be more than that. I may be closer to eight. So I'm not quite there, but I'm hoping there's a potential that I could be there by Tuesday. So um, as long as I don't overdo it this weekend, uh, um, there's a potential that I could be there. And they may see that as 
um, a step in the right direction. I don't know what they're going to say. So anyway, go pay it forward with kindness, guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.